All right, guys, this is involving the Flint water crisis. Um, the legal bills for the state's corrupt politicians that are basically being sued because they did fuck up, they did know they fucked up, and they have yet to step down, which is the politically correct thing to do. Um, and now it's costing taxpayers $5 million because these guys don't have the sense to go, you know what, my administration did screw up. Guess what? I hereby resign. Cool. Nope. They don't have the sense to do that anymore. They're in power. They're going to stay in power as long as their government allows them to stay in power. And it does not mean a goddamn thing. So this is what it's really about, folks. State spends... Uh, Michigan, by the way. M Live is Michigan. State spends $5 million to defend Governor Snyder workers in Flint water crisis. So the Michigan government's basically paying $5 in ransom... Uh, well, it is technically ransom to cover these guys for their corrupt politics and the fact that these guys have yet to step down means that this is exactly what it is. It's a ransom to cover their legal fees, to cover them politically so they don't go to prison and other things. It's exactly what it is. I mean, it might, it might be a slightly different interpretation of a general ransom. That's exactly what it is. The lawyers have said, for this amount of money, we can cover these people. Well, how is that any different than Obama's people paying $400 million for four rescued, uh, ca or for the rescued captives in Iran? It's the same situation here, folks. This came out of Lansing, Michigan. Criminal cases against state employees charged with the wrongdoing in Flint water crisis. Uh are just beginning legal fees have already risen to more than $5 million for Governor Rick Snyder and two Department of States, uh, two departments in state government. So more than this, Snyder will tell the State Administrative Board on August 30th, okay, this is a little bit gone, but it's okay. Uh, they want, you know, lawsuits related to the, to the Flint water crisis, um, enough to cover 3.4 million in billing so far, the governor's press secretary said. So they have 3.4, they've adjusted it to 5, and they see it on the rise more. You know, here's the simple thing, folks. If you're going to cost the taxpayers $5 million, guess what? You don't need to be the governor of Michigan. You do not need to be the state representative of this district or this county or any or this region. Step down. This is this. Do you understand? Yes. Okay, cool. If you're put in at $130,000 a year and we have to now pay $5 million to cover you legally, if your lobbyists that put you in there have not yet contributed to that money, then your ass better be on the unemployment line because that's serious business. That's serious money you guys are spending doing nothing but staying in office, keeping the bills going. Please resign. And it says it was appropriated by Attorney General Bill uh, Shewitt, who is the criminal investigation in the water crisis. If, if these guys had any sense, if the Michigan FBI had any sense, or the federal FBI in Michigan, rather, they would have arrested these guys or said, look, you're costing us $5 million. Guess what? Somebody else can do your job for less than $5 million. That money can be reinvested in, in the actual water crisis. Please resign, all of you. That's all I'm going to say. And this has to do with the... Uh, Everything going on. I mean, you can go through this all you want, folks. They're going to give you figures here and there on what they spent in uh, Friday, August 19. Eight, it went from 800000 to $2 million, And the civil service situations and the rules that say that an employee named in the civil lawsuit can request to be represented by the state expense. No, it should not be that way. They are put into office by the lobbyists and the special interest groups. Anything that happens, delinquent, negligent, or otherwise, 
should be covered by those people who help them get into office. Period. Yet, here's another group who are still running around thinking, Oh my God, I get to be governor tomorrow and I screwed up. Yay! That's true. Governor Snyder was brought into the situation, but I, I highly doubt he did anything to defuse it beforehand. So, he's basically everybody's scapegoat. I get it. I'm not that stupid. But the state spends $5 million to defend Governor Snyder. If I was working somewhere and my company that I was working for had to spend $5 million to defend me, guess what would happen? More than likely, my ass would have gotten a pink slip. And I'd be going to jail for a little while. So put these guys in with Kwame, six months to a year, then put them as permanent residents in Flint, and make them drink the fucking water. Period. All these guys need to resign. That's it. Case closed. Thank you, guys. Michigan is being ransomed $5 million to cover Flint and State's corrupt politicians. And these guys don't have the decency or the understanding to know they should have resigned by now.